The Berry region, at the very center of France, is a most improbable place for such a beautiful butternut squash to have originated. Most butternut types thrive in warmer climates and more southern latitudes. And while the Berry region is a major farming area for wheat, its climate isn't the mildest for such a squash. Nevertheless, the Sucrine du Berry, with its thick flesh of orange, almost reddish color, is now one of the best butternuts for growing in colder environments. According to the eminent botanist Olivier de Serre, squash made its way to France in 1600. Butternut squash came by way of the Kingdom of Naples. Other types and species came from Spain. The Sucrine du Berry can definitely be traced to the Italian route, starting in Naples, where they arrived from the New World, and then via Nice, on the northern shores of the Mediterranean, and ending up even some 500 miles more north in Bruges, the capital city of Berry. In France, it's known as a very old variety, but there's really no trace of it in any seed catalog until 1987, when a local gardener brought fruits to display and seeds to share at the Pumpkin Festival in the village of Transo in the department of Andre in the Berry region. He told the story to the organizers of the festival who handed seeds to a local seed-saving organization. Due to the outstanding qualities of the squash, its flesh color and thickness, its sweetness and long storage life, Sucrine du Berry quickly became popular among farmers markets growers, first in the Berry region and then all over France. In 2009, it was awarded and registered as an Arc of Taste variety, which triggered even more attention to it all over Europe and in the US, where Baker Creek was the first to offer seeds commercially. Chefs love it too. Local recipes from the Berry region use it as a main ingredient. The most famous is the Citruria Berrichon, a pie made with squash, onions, and parsley. Sucrine du Berry is a true gem of the butternut squash category. Bred by some obscure gardener in an unlikely region of France, far, far from its birthplace in tropical Central America, it's a beautiful story of adaptation. Thanks so much for watching Seed Stories. We love bringing you the backstory on these amazing varieties. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss a single episode.